So while your heat gun's warming up, just position the film in such a way that you have some nice, big fingers here. And then being careful not to scratch the car with the cable, so wrap it around you however which way you please. We're gonna go in and we're gonna start in the center with this big finger. Most important step is to get the film to a gelled state so that it's soft. Whenever you watch a video of somebody shrinking ExoShield and you see them push the hard guard through the finger, it's nerve wracking because generally when you do that with something like window tint, you're gonna crease the film. But if we get this film to a state where it's gelled, or heat that bottom edge up, and the pressure of the air pushing on the film is gonna get it to fold, that's how we know that the film is in a gelled state. And we're gonna to continue to do that so that the bottom edge shrinks a little bit. There's gonna be some dimples that occur in the sides and corners of the film. That's a good indicator that we're getting to the point where we move to the next step of shrinking, which is to move the heat gun slowly up one side of the finger. Over and down the other side, really allowing the film to react. Once we do that, then we're gonna do big circles or ovals with the heat gun nice and close so that we don't have any heat falling off. If we hold the heat gun out here, there's barely any heat being applied to the window. That's like hair dryer temperature. We wanna make sure that we're getting direct heat onto the film and pressure from the air blowing pushing on the, on the film. Keeping that bottom edge soft and gelled while we're applying a lot of heat through the finger. I like to introduce as much shrink as possible into these big fingers in this first step before hard carding. But now we have a finger with two branches at the top here. That's a good indicator that it's time to just push through and split that in half. And now we have two manageable fingers, manageable in size. We're gonna go after one half. Same as before, getting the bottom edge to gel and curl. Move up one side, down the other and then through the meat of the finger, doing circles nice and close. Keeping the bottom gelled. Keeping consistent heat applied throughout. You shouldn't be focusing on one area more than another. As you work through the shrinking process, if you're applying even heat to the finger throughout, by the time you get to the end, you'll have naturally applied more heat to the bottom that part of the finger doesn't go away till the very end. It's very important, I didn't mention this before, but don't bother pushing all of the side fingers and or thumbs down into the bottom of the windshield right away. That's something that we're gonna deal with in the second stage of shrinking these windshields. It's important that we leave that film there for now. If we introduce it too early, it's just gonna make our lives very difficult. Mm -hmm.